today's Tuesday, March 31st, and this is your school closure lesson for 8th grade math, Liberty Middle School. So today's agenda, we're going to learn how to find the volume of a sphere. All right, so let's get started. Um, so what is a sphere? Let's start with the definition. What is a sphere? A, and here's our definition. A sphere is a set of points that are all the same distance, known as R, from the center. So here's an example. A sphere is a 3D figure. Typically, we think of like a baseball or a basketball, tennis ball, um, a marble, anything like that that's perfectly round. Um, and we have the center, very center of it, and any point on the outside, they're all exactly the same distance. And that's known as the distance R. From the very center to any point on the outside, from here to here would be the same as from here to here. So um, that's what makes it perfectly round for the 3D figure of a sphere. All right, so let's look at the formula of finding volume of a sphere. Um, on the left side, you'll see here it says volume equals four-thirds times pi times radius cubed to the third power means cubed. So let's examine this uh, formula a little bit more over here. So first we notice we have our improper fraction four-thirds times pi. Um, so sometimes you're going to have to put in 3.14, sometimes you go use the pi button, or sometimes you'll just leave in terms of pi just like we did for the other um, volume formulas. And then the radius, we want to take it and cube it. That means multiply it by itself three times. All right, another way to write this formula, because notice it says the word or, is to write it like this. This is exactly the same formula as over here. It's just written a little bit differently. Um, so let's look at it. So when you multiply anything by 4 thirds, that's the same thing as multiplying all these numbers by 4, so 4 times pi times radius cubed, and then taking that and dividing that answer by 3. It's the same thing. So this is another way that they like to write the formula. However, we're going to mostly use this one because this is the one on the formula sheet, and it's also, um, since we're using our calculator, it's really easy just to type all this in at once, okay? All right, so let's get started and look at some examples. All right, so here's our first example. It says, find the volume of a sphere with a diameter of 8 centimeters. Use 3.14 for pi and round the solution to the nearest tenth. All right, so here's our sphere, and it told us that we have a diameter. Let me get a pen here. A diameter of 8 centimeters, so we know D equals 8 centimeters. All right, so let's first begin by filling in what we know. So we don't know the volume. We already have our 4 thirds times pi. What do they want us to use for pi? 3.14, so times 3.14 times radius cubed. So I look over here, and I don't know the radius. I know diameter. I know all the way across from one side to the other of the sphere's 8 centimeters. So what would the radius be? Well, we know from our previous problems that radius is half of the diameter. So half of um, the diameter here, half of 8R would equal 4 centimeters. All right, so we're going to plug in 4, and it's cubed. All right, so let's type all this in our um, calculator at one time. 4 thirds times 3.14 times 4 to the third power, and look at how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is hit our fraction key in over D. Um, if you don't have that on your calculator, you can just do 4 divided by 3. That should work as well. So 4 thirds times and we're using 3.14 for pi for this problem because that's what it told us to, to use. Um, and then times the radius, which was 4. And we're going to cube it. So this time we're not going to hit the squared key. We're going to hit this little caret that looks like an arrow pointing up. It's right above the x squared. So up to, and that gives you the exponent up here blinking. And then that's where we want to hit the 3. So 4 to the third power. We're going to hit enter. And we get 267.94. And I can get more digits than that. 9466667. I think that was right. Yeah. All right, so we want to round to the nearest tenth. All right, so I want to go over rounding real well and talk about it because we've been having some rounding issues. So first we want to find the tenths place. So the tenths place is always the first digit after the decimal. So 
I'm going to draw what they called a door in the video that I posted for decimals. They called it draw a door. So now we've drawn the door here and we say, who's that knocking on my door? And this four is knocking on the door. So the four tells the nine, well, to stay because five or more raise the score, four or less, let it rest. So our answer V equals 267 decimal nine. And that would be units, centimeters, and volume, of course, is cubed. So there's our solution. All right, let's do another one. Example two, find the volume of the sphere with a diameter of 24 millimeters, write your answer in terms of pi. All right, so this time, um, let's try this one. So let's start with, we don't know the volume, let's fill in the information. We have our four thirds times pi, and they said in terms of pi. So I'm gonna leave the pi symbol, and I'm not even going to turn it into a decimal, I'm gonna leave that pi symbol there. And then radius cubed, well, we don't know the radius. We have diameter. So again, we need to find radius. So diameter is one side all the way to the other. So radius would be half of that. So half of 24 would be 12. So the radius is 12 millimeters. So times 12, and then, of course, radius cubed. So 12 to the third power. All right, so let's put all this in our calculator at once. I'm going to clear this. I'm going to hit the numerator over denominator, n divided by d. So that is 4 thirds times um, pi, you can hit the pi symbol this time, times 12 to the third power. Now remember you hit that little, what we call, it looks like a, it looks like a rooftop. It looks like a, a little upside down V. Um, it's called a carrot and that's to the third power. Then you want to hit the three button and then hit enter. And it should leave it exactly in terms of pi. So 2,304 pi. 2,304 pi. And then we want um, millimeters cubed because volume is cubed. All right. So that's easy when you're leaving it in terms of pi. It saves that step of you don't hit the um, key to make it turn into a decimal. You just leave it in terms of pi with the pi symbol. So it's like, kind of like saving a step. All right, example three. Let's do another one. This time we don't have a picture. So it says find the volume of a sphere of, a sphere of air with a diameter of six meters. Write your answer round to the nearest tenth. All right, so... Um, you could draw one if you want, or you can just label what you know. They tell us that diameter equals six meters. So, of course, in order to solve here, volume equals four thirds times pi. And it doesn't tell us what to use for pi, so um, I'm going to use um, 3.14. Okay, so I added use 3.14 for pi. So for pi, I'm going to plug in my 3.14 times radius cubed. Um, that's there. And the radius we don't know, so we first need to get that. We know that diameter is 6, so radius is half, so the radius would be 3. So times 3, and of course radius is being cubed, so 3 cubed. All right, so let's plug this all into our calculator at once and get our solution here. 4 thirds times 3.14 times 3 cubed. All right, so let me clear. I'm going to hit numerator of a denominator, 4 arrow down thirds, arrow over, times 3.14 times the radius was 3, and we're doing 3 to the third power, so caret, and then the third power. Hit enter. 113.04, so 113.04, and we're going to round to the nearest tenth, so let's do the door thing. So the tenth place is where the zero is, so we're going to draw our door here. Who's that knocking on my door? It's a four, so the four tells the zero to stay, so the volume is 113.04. Or you could just say 113, okay? And it would be meters cubed would be the volume of the sphere of air. All right, and last problem, let's do this one. Find the volume of the basketball below. Use 3.14 for pi and round your answer to the nearest tenth. All right, so V equals 4 thirds times pi. They tell us to use 3.14 
So 3.14 times radius cubed. So radius is 15 cubed. All right, so um, it already gave us what the radius was this time. So that was easy. We didn't even have to calculate it um, from diameter because they gave it to us in the radius. All right, so last problem, 4 thirds times 3.14 times 15 cubed. All right, clear this. I'm going to do 4 thirds, so 4 over 3 times 3 decimal 1.4 times, and I've already forgotten, 15 times 15 cubed, so up to the third power, and hit enter. 14,130. 14,130, 14,130, let me make sure that's right, 14,130, all right, and I need my units, inches cubed, because volume is always cubed, and that is how you find the volume of a sphere. So you have your four examples. There should be of each type that you'll see on the practice now. Um, so uh, if you have questions, message your teacher. But otherwise, you guys should be good to go. All right. Talk to you later.